starting to feel a lot more comfortable with it now. Miss Gunner, so are you able to pick up any of the experience from your last trip and this trip? And can you put forth towards another trip out? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing definitely for, you know, the next time around is I'm going to, when I get back, I want to start focusing more on the greater Toronto area, you know, like southern Ontario anyway. Um, because most of the touring, all of the touring that I've done has always been out east because this is where I'm from, and it's an excuse for me to come spend time with friends and family, and I, I can get a pretty good crowd out in Halifax. It was awesome. The place was packed on Friday. Nice. <laughs> it was a great feeling. And, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not so well known in Ontario, so I'm, I'm going to try and, like, build some smaller tours. I think that's one of the things that it's taught me is to kind of, okay, like, now I've had, I've had this, like, crazy, you know, experience of just going out and risking a lot, you know, financially and time-wise and um, all, all kinds of other things. <laughs> but um, so that's kind of taught me to, to take a step back and look at the basics, right, and start um, focusing on smaller, more frequent um, mini-tour type things, right, like heading out for a long weekend kind of thing. Um, like I said, it's Friday, Saturday, elsewhere in, in Ontario. So that and now I'm much more proficient at booking shows because <laughs> <laughs> now like it used to be that I'd call up and I'd be shaking right I'd, I'd be nervous because I hate talking to people about money and that's always the hardest part about talking to people when you're booking a show and of course you come across as not sounding very confident right yeah so now I've, I just got it so that I put the whole package together before I even talk to them I send them you know like the proposed poster the, the performance contract uh, links to all the bands who would potentially be playing with me, um, and then, you know, the proposed payment arrangement. And then I contact them. <laughs> so I send them all that first, and then I contact them, and I find that works a lot better because it looks more professional and it's less work for them because it's all right there for them. Yeah, they don't have to do any research. So that's a pretty good idea what you have there. Yeah, it took a while to figure that out, but <laughs> yeah. it works. <laughs> well, at least you found something that works for you. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody kind of has to develop their own system. But um, I brought on a, a franager now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a friend who is my manager. <laughs> well, that's good. It can kind of cut the cost, too, in hiring a full-blown manager. Well, yes and no. Actually, I've, I've offered him a higher percentage than most managers would get. <laughs> but because I have a lot of faith in him and what I've want him to be able to do for me is put together a whole team of people that can take smaller tasks, right? Because I've been doing everything. Like, I've been doing all the management side of things, booking, public relations, performance, <laughs> <laughs> you know, rehearsals, writing, recording, mixing everything, you know, like, I've been doing it all, and, um... That's quite a bit from one person. Wow. It's a lot. It is a lot, yeah. And uh, I almost lost my mind before the first tour this summer. The second time around, it wasn't so bad because I had a better idea of what I was doing and what I was getting into. Mm -hmm. um, but even so, I was like, I didn't pack my bag to leave until 30 minutes before I had to leave for the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally down to the wire trying to get everything done and still doing more of it from the road. Um, but yeah, so the plan is to get this whole team together where we have like different part-time kind of positions where people get involved with booking, and it can be a good experience, like for university students and stuff, right, who are in a business program to be doing this kind of stuff, but they will be compensated, of course, and, you know, like publicity and web design and stuff like that, all, all different kinds of projects, um, so he'll work with me to get that team put together, which will free me up to be able to actually start writing more music and working on the performance side of things, because without a good show, you've got nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you even find time to fit writing in music with with everything you're doing? Up until now, I haven't had time for it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's one of the things that I've been trying to work into it. And um, before the tour, um, I guess it was yeah, the Friday before it. When did I leave? I can't even remember. <laughs> 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 but um, like the week before the tour, I um, had had my... Um, you have an evaluation at work, right? Where they decide whether or not you get a promotion and a raise and stuff like that. And I had mine, and for the second time, they had promised me a promotion and did not give it to me. No. And the night before, 
I had been at my vocal coach, being my vocal coach, and she actually encouraged me to just quit my job altogether and, and pr um, pursue music full time. And I was kind of like, wow, I really want to do that. You have no idea I really want to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, kind of like, I don't know if that's the responsible thing to do because yeah. I don't have anything to save because I've been spending all of my money on these tours. <laughs> yeah. And, but then that happened the next day and I was just like, okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in the next day and instead of just quitting outright, I ended up um, giving them a proposal of what my ideal, you know, work situation would be there and basically it was to go part time. So now I'll just be working like eight in the morning until noon, Monday to Friday, which frees up so much more of my day to actually take care of the stuff that's important, you know, writing and rehearsing and recording some new stuff. Um, and once we get the rest of the team together I won't even have to do the business side, which will free up even more time. <laughs> so yeah, the wheels are in motion. I'm very excited. <laughs> Uh, that'd be handy having, being able to give a proposal. And if I did that, I'd be down the road with my lunch pail. <laughs> well, it's kind of at the point where either I propose what I want, or I continue to get, being miserable and potentially getting fired because I'm miserable and performing poorly at work. <laughs> <laughs> or I just quit, right? And if I quit, I can't get EI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have no income. <laughs> If I got fired, I couldn't get EI. <laughs> yeah. And um, so really, like, the only option and the best option was just to say what I really wanted. And it's funny how the more you ask for what you really want, the more of it you start to get. Like, it's something I've been coming to realize. It's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. Everything's just been starting to happen with, like, perfect timing. <laughs> it's been great. So, so you just started with your new vocal coach. How's that? working out for you? Good, yeah. Um, it works in 10-week sessions, so my first 10 weeks are finished. Um, it was a great experience, um, you know, working with someone who's worked with so many big names and has had over 10,000 students in 25 years. I mean, she's... That's a lot of people. a lot of people, yeah. And, you know, she's, she teaches people all over the world. It's just, it's kind of inspiring just to beat it, <laughs> you know, and, and the fact that she actually has faith in me as, as a performer and as a singer is a huge ego boost, <laughs> but um, no, I, I've really learned a lot, you know, especially with regards to having healthy vocals, right? Um, yeah. The entire time I've been on, on this tour, I've never felt any strain, I've never felt any kind of discomfort while singing. My tone is so much better. My range is better. And, you know, it's just simply a matter of learning a different way of thinking about singing, which is very unconventional. You know, like it's, it's not the way that most people learn how to sing. But that's probably why it works so well. <laughs> well, at least you're seeing results right away. Oh, yeah. That, that's great. First, even in the first lesson, like, there are two-hour lessons. After the first lesson, there was still a huge improvement. And she tapes you, right? So, like, after the first... You get, like, your introductory thing where you hear yourself, and then you have the last one. I couldn't even listen to the first one. Oh, I, know. I, I just walk out the door myself. <laughs> I thought I was actually doing pretty good, because, I mean, I didn't have bad vocals to start with. But n hearing and feeling the differences now, it was really hard. I was, like, cringing <laughs> <laughs> to listen to it. Even now, I have a hard time, like, I can't listen to the MySpace, because I want to re-record all of the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great. You're going to have the opposite effect that albums usually have. You come out with the excellent vocals on the album, then when you come to your live shows, they're just horrible. At least you're going to have the reverse effect on it. Well, in your mind, anyways. You have in my to mind, yeah. Which I'm sure comes across, too, for the audience, you know. I mean, like I said, the vocals weren't awful on the TV, but they're so much better now. And they'll be so much better in the live performance. Yeah, now, how did you first take it to when people are comparing you to the last Mars set? Because that's what I said, too. Your vocals are almost top-notch. <laughs> um, yeah, with the latest Mars set. It's funny. I, my, I used to get really angry. And I actually went and tried out for Canadian Idol one year. Not because I really wanted to be Canadian Idol, because I'm not really a pop singer. Um, but I wanted the challenge of putting myself into a position of being criticized. And, you know, it's a high-pressure kind of situation that 